Hey everyone, so today is National Pretzel Day, so we're going to be making pretzels with a spicy beer mustard. Now, one of the more common origin stories tells us that the pretzel was first created in the early 600s by an Italian monk. He would bake strips of dough, and he pressed that dough into the shape of a child in prayer. However, we don't have any actual evidence that backs his claim, but we do know that an image of pretzels first showed up in the early 1100s on the crest of German bakers' guilds. Then in the 1440s, uh, a picture of St. Bartholomew surrounded by pretzels showed up in a popular prayer book. Pretzels were considered a sign of good luck and spiritual wholeness due to their three holes representing the Holy Trinity. Pretzel found its way to the United States in the 1700s by German immigrants bringing it to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania to this day remains the largest producer of pretzels for the country, producing about 80% total. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're going to start on the spicy beer mustard. And for starters, we're going to put a third of a cup of yellow mustard seeds, half a cup of beer, I'm using Shiner Bock, usually better to use something more on the dark side, and half a cup of apple cider vinegar. And we're going to cover this and refrigerate it overnight. All right, so the mustard seeds are soaked. So we're gonna finish up here with the mustard. And I'm gonna start out with half a cup of beer, two tablespoons of honey, and three tablespoons of brown sugar. One teaspoon of kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of turmeric, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground allspice. And then next, we're gonna turn on the heat. We're gonna bring it up to a boil and take it off the heat. All right, so I just finished boiling, so I took it off the heat, and now we're gonna let it cool before blending. All right, so the mix is cooled down now, so we're gonna finish up the mustard here. So here are the soaked mustard seeds. We're just gonna pour it into the blender. And here is the mix we just boiled. And now we're just gonna blend this all together. We're gonna give it a taste and that should be it. All right, let's get started on the dough. We're gonna be starting with a cup and a half of water and I want it to be between 110 and 115 in temperature. As you can see, 110 right here. So I'm gonna pour this in. Then I'm adding two teaspoons of kosher salt, one tablespoon of cane sugar, and now I'm going to add two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. And I'm just going to let it sit on top of the water, and we're going to let it sit for about five minutes, wait for it to start bubbling. Before we move on to the next step. All right, so it's been five minutes and this mixture is starting to foam. So next step is gonna be adding two ounces of melted butter. And we're gonna add 22 ounces by weight of all-purpose flour. this guy back in here. I'm going to start it out on a low setting just to get everything combined. Then I'm going to turn it up to about a medium setting 
and mix it until the dough no longer sticks to the edges of the bowl. And now I'm picking it up to a medium. Looks like it's pulling clean, so I'm going to turn it off. Alright, so our pretzel dough is mixed. It's well combined, not sticking anymore, so I'm going to be putting a little bit of oil into this bulk here. Just putting it here to keep it from sticking. So the next step is going to be letting it rest inside of the bowl. So I'm going to put it back in here. I'm going to plastic wrap it and let it rest for 55 minutes. Also adding a little bit of vegetable oil and rubbing the outside of the dough as well to keep it from drying out. Okay, so it's been 55 minutes. So I'm kind of just greasing up a little work area here. And the next step is going to be dividing up the dough and rolling out the pretzels. So here's my dough. It has doubled in size, which you're looking for. Okay, now we're going to boil the pretzels. I've got 10 cups of water and two-thirds of a cup of baking soda. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to gently drop it in. I'm going to give it 20 seconds. Okay, so my last step before baking these off is going to be adding, it's called an egg wash. It's egg yolk and a little bit of water. And what I'm going to be doing here is just brushing the tops, the outsides, a little bit of this. It's going to add a little bit of color, and it's also going to give the salt something to stick to when we're baking these off. Now I'm just adding the pretzel salt for this one. And I also have smoked sea salt, just to kind of try something a little different. Okay, so it's been 12 minutes now, and I got the color I'm looking for. Done all the way through. That should be it. Thanks for watching.